Alright guys, this video is going to be filled with a lot of news for the Ancient Gods Part 2, so I'm going to go straight to the point. If you want to know everything about Doom Eternal in the Ancient Gods Part 2, click subscribe and click the bell. So, just like I said a couple of weeks ago, Hugo Martin is indeed teasing little by little the contents of the Ancient Gods Part 2 on his weekly Doom Eternal streams. He, alongside Joshua, streams Doom Eternal every Thursday in the afternoon, so here is a calendar for the next stream dates if you want to see them. They are really cool. And in this stream which has our game director playing our complex alongside Joshua, Hugo and Joshua too revealed a lot and I mean a lot of things about the Ancient Gods Part 2. Stuff like new demonic enemies for the Ancient Gods Part 2, new traversal tools for the mid hook, unknown places that we have never seen before in the franchise and the scale of the DLC itself compared to the Ancient Gods Part 1 and the base game of Doom Eternal. So let's begin. I'm not going to get into it, but I really like all the new enemies a lot. But we'll get into that stuff later. But yeah. but no, like Arguably, some of the encounters. Josh, just, yeah. Is it bold to say mm -hmm. one of them is? I think one of them is the best enemy in the game. I the, the big guy. Yeah, I yeah, tend I to agree with you because I'm obsessed with fighting them, and yes. it's like my favorite new thing because it's such a different setup and situation, and it's a thing that you didn't realize you were. It's that's the best thing in in good games is you get something you didn't realize you were missing and then you're just like, I can never go back. Yeah. This is what they're supposed it, to be all the time. With what Ugo and Joshua said, the Ancient Gods Part 2 will include at the very least three new demonic enemies and that one of them, the in quotes big guy, is the best demon they have ever created and designed in the game. This demon might be part of the Super Heavy Demon class or the Heavy class, but honestly, I hope he's part of the Super Heavy Demon class. We need new super bad demons that are equal as powerful as the Marauder, Archval, Baron of Hell, Cyberdemon, and the Doom Hunter. The last DLC only included two new enemies, that being the Spirit and the Blood Angels. One is basically a buff for the demons and the other one is a heavy class demon. So having at least three new demonic enemies, one of which is apparently the best demon they have ever designed, is absolutely fantastic. There is a grand possibility that one of these demons might be the Chain Gunner, and if he is, he would be part of the heavy demon class. I would be actually surprised if we get at least one demon for each class, that being father demon, heavy demon and super heavy demon. With the release of the dark lord, maybe new factions that were silent in hell are beginning to arise again, something along those lines, I don't know. Don't forget, but supposedly this DLC will include dragons and ogres as well? Huge stretch, I know, but I really want to see some dragons in the game. Most likely there will not be dragon enemies. Dragons are native to Ojidana and friendly towards the sentinels. If we do not get the dragons, I shave bald. <laughs> Period. You have my word. Chat reminded me something that I think we both forgot, Hugo, about what we were going to talk about this week as far as Ancient Gods Part 2, which is Meat Hook Traversal. I think yeah. we dropped that nugget that we were going to talk about. Do you want to talk about it before we jump into Arc Complex? Absolutely. So okay. that's that's uh, that's the new traversal tool in Meat Hook. So with the skill-based traversals, um, we added uh, a Meat Hook node that you can attach to in the world, and then you use your momentum to kind of zigzag through the spaces and and uh, complete the traversal puzzle to the get to the next part of the map. I was calling it like a Meat Hook grapple, but it sounds like Chat is already calling it the Yeet Hook, which that's fine. It's done. That works. It's the Yeet I Hook like now, it. I guess. But no, Ma yeah. manhole covers and Yeet Hooks. It's your game. <laughs> You paid for this game. You get to determine what things are called. That's the, right. The giant creature in the bog, Malagog, he's Bob. You know, you, you guys right. love to reduce our lore to just these ridiculous meme names. Now, let's talk about the mid hook or the yid hook. Ancient Gods Part 2 will include mid hook platforming. Throughout the arenas and platforming sections, there are going to be little nodes scattered through them so that you can mid hook throughout the arena or the section freely. This is going to make the combat arenas even more fun and badass, as you will always have the chance to mid hook into the air and become basically a very fast angel of death. You get the things that you, you wanted, you, you expected out of doom but like in this one again in the new one ancient gods part two like i was definitely blown away for being like this is 
Like, Doom doesn't usually ever go to these places with this scale. It doesn't go to some of these locations, yeah. period. Talking about the design of the levels, Ugo describes that the levels are going to have more calm spaces in between. Instead of going at 100 miles per hour the whole level, you will have uh, areas where you can just relax and take everything in. Take a look at your surroundings and have more time to read the lore of the codex pages. This inherently attaches with more environmental storytelling, something that I adore. If the levels are going to have way more calm in between spaces where no action is happening, then that means its software are sure that those areas are going to be beautiful and worth to watch and explore. More exploration, please. Lastly, Ugo describes that we are going to go to some ridiculous and crazy places we have never gone before. There is also a high chance that we might explore the unknown Sentinel cities from Sentinel Prime, such as Nettes. Ardeur and Carlo de. We haven't actually explored that much of Ardenur, specifically Sentinel Prime. From 2016 and onwards, we have only played four levels that are from Ogen de Neu, that being Ogen de Neu, Exaltia, Sentinel Prime, and Charles Nabatso. Yeah, we need more Sentinel levels. That place is tied with the past of the Doomslayer as well, so more lore too. A little bit of a speculation, but with the return of the Dark Lord, we might go to the very depths of hell. Remember, we have only scratched the surface of hell. We have never gone to the very depths of it, actually, so. Blood cannot be spilled in the holy grounds of the Illuminarium, so the Doomslayer and the Dark Lord can't and will not fight there. So a big boss fight can indeed happen in the very most dark and corrupted grounds of hell itself. Next week, Ugo is going to be talking about the new super weapon in depth, so be sure not to miss it. I'm betting that this super weapon is either the Demonic Crucible or the Commander's Crucible Warhammer. Realistically speaking, they are the two actual weapons we have seen in Doom Eternal and that we have never used. I honestly believe that the Dark Lord is going to retrieve his Demonic Crucible from the Fortress of Doom, so most likely it's going to be the Commander's Warhammer, and if it is, Please, let it not be like the Crucible Blade. We need something new. It's a Warhammer, for God's sake. Instead of slashing, let's stomp or destroy, I don't know, it's Hammer. Thanks for watching. And so, for this week's new patrons, special thanks to David Kubrick and Rado for joining the Patreon this week. Thank you so much. And for the chat slayer section, special thanks to David Kubrick, Leo Escava, Toxic Death, Nookdude 14, and Florian Hablo. Thank you so much for your amazing support. Thank you. If you want to become one of my patrons, link is going to be down below. Thank you so much for the incredible support. As okay, Spotins, please let me know what you think about this video down in the comment section. Leave a like if you did, any dislike if you disliked it, it is completely fine. If you don't like the video, dislike right now. This was a very good video for news on Doom Eternal, and I guess that every new week we're going to be getting more news about the game because March is closing in, so before March, we need to get a DLC too before March, so I think, yeah, it's going to be pretty cool. Do not forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitch, and on Twitter. All links are going to be down below for social media. And so, case buttons have an awesome Sunday. Stay safe, play video games, stay home. Bye. Adios. Bye. Love you.